Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Everett Hoffman and today we're going to talk about the five most commonly used shots in video and in photo. And those five are a wide shot, a medium shot, a medium close up, a close up, and a super close up. So for the examples today, our main subject is going to be a person and that's going to be me but later I'll show you what these shots can look like if you're shooting a product video or doing product photography. So let's just get into these examples. Up first is a wide shot. This is a full body shot that ranges from the head all the way down to the feet. Some people would call this a long shot, but I like to use the term wide shot. Second is a medium shot that ranges from the waist all the way up to the top of the head. The next shot is a medium close-up that ranges from the chest all the way up to the top of the head. Next is a close-up that ranges from the top of the head to the bottom of the head. So you're just going to have the head in frame. Then you have a super close-up, which can be just the eyes, but it's the only thing that's going to be seen in frame. So those are some examples of what those different shot types are going to look like. But what would they look like if we're not filming a person and say we're shooting a product video or doing product photography? The example that I have today is my Shiner Black Lager video. If you haven't seen it already, I'm gonna go ahead and link it up here and I'm gonna put it in the description below. But I've already gone ahead and pulled some still frames from that video. So I'm gonna show you some examples of what these shot types would look like during a product video. This is what a wide shot could look like for a product because we can see the entire product from the top of the bottle cap all the way down to the base of the bottle. This is a medium shot because it's about halfway up the bottle all the way up to the top of the bottle cap. So next we have a medium close-up, and this one can be tricky because it also qualifies as a close-up. But I would consider this to be a medium close-up because it has the entire bottle neck all the way up to the bottle cap in frame. And you'll see why I'm calling this a medium close-up when I get to the next shot. So I would consider this shot to be more of a close-up because we can't see the top of the bottle cap or the base of the bottle neck. We're seeing right in between both of those things. So I would qualify this as a close-up. And last but not least, our super close-up. This is a super close-up because there is nothing else on the bottle in frame besides this logo. So therefore this qualifies as a super close-up. So there you have it. That's what these different shot types are going to look like when you're doing product videography or product photography. So why should we know what these different shot types are and what they're called? We should know this because it is the industry standard in film and in photography. So for example, if you're working on a film set as a camera operator and the director wants you to set up a close-up or a medium close-up, you need to know what that framing is going to look like. So it's really just a form of communication that people in the industry are going to use. So that's all I got for this one. Tune in next week when I cover the different types of camera movement. Let me know what your favorite shot type is in the comments below. As always, like and subscribe for more content like this. Skiddly bop that bell to be notified when I post another video. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one.